All right, so I've got a lot of these wires cleaned up. Uh, but I mean, this looks like a like a disaster, but it's really organized chaos. This is all the wires that came out. Um, I mean, this is the uh, the wire the VSS wire from the the tail of the transmission. Um, just everything that you get through that you decide that you're not going to be using. I would recommend getting, you know, you, you've got to see what every wire is doing. Now I've taken all the all the the split loom off just so that I can expose from the fuse block over to the um, this connector that goes to the firewall. And um, went through and identified everything here. So this is like a good example, cruise engaged. This is the AC cycle switch. Uh, 4K speed signal, the VSS wire. This is another, this is the true VSS coming from the computer. AC enable relay. So as you can see, just every single one just go through there and, and just identify the wires. I go to lt1swap.com and just go through there in process of elimination just find out what all these wires do a lot of these all these wires that I have draped over the the edge of the truck here they end up going to um, to this connector here which will in turn be connected to the firewall down there and it'll distribute in to the inside of the cab I wanted to show you um, on, on this truck if you strike the key to to start the truck the truck could all be the engine could be running already and if you strike the key again you're going to get your your uh, your grinding on the starter this is the starter relay right here if we look at the back of this thing okay we have the purple wire which will actually feed the power to the starter. This red wire is coming from one of these fuses right here. You don't want to mess with any one of those. Um, as a matter of fact, that this same purple wire just kind of goes through the loom, makes its way down into here, and then I've got it draped right here, okay? So what I'm, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take, if you look closely here, you've got, let's see if I can focus this, okay. Directly underneath this is the relay, okay? So this is right side up, and just flip it down, just to make it easier here. You've got four pins. This red wire is feeding the power to the relay, to the switch side, okay? And then this purple wire here, sorry my fingers are all dirty, but this purple wire is gonna shoot the 12 volts down to the starter. Now this little black one here, I've already trimmed it from, from its location, okay? This is a ground, it was going straight to ground. And then this purple wire is coming from this connector, and I, I don't remember exactly where. I think it might be I think it might be this purp this single purple wire right here, which would be identified as E1, I believe. But it sits in there like this. And when the key says, hey, it's time to go, when you crank it, this purple wire goes through the harness all the way down Let's see if I can focus this it goes all the way down to your your range selector switch which is acting also as your neutral um, your neutral safety switch so you have the two purple wires here okay so if the truck is in park or in neutral it will allow that purple wire to basically go in come back out as that 
other purple wires you can see there's here they are it's two purple wires and again goes from from this connector down to the transmission which I've got the, the wires draped here so don't get confused with that but essentially it's gonna go to that that gear selector switch on the side of the transmission it's gonna come back up and it's gonna hit as long as it's in park or neutral it's gonna allow the 12 volts to to activate your relay we don't want that anymore we don't want to just be able to crank it if the engine's running now the the advantage of this if you do it this way um, is you want to remove the ground okay and then this purple wire I'm gonna trim it somewhere in here so that I can just I want to get pink hot voltage somewhere in here as you can see this is a pink hot coming from inside the truck and there's some terminals just to the side of it here that they did not use but I'm gonna go ahead and and just cut just long enough so that this wire this purple wire here I'll just do it now set this down for a sec okay so here's that purple wire right I'm gonna go ahead and strip this and I'm gonna jump it clear over here all right so when you turn the key to the on position then this relay will see uh, pink hot voltage all right the purple wire that you just cut and that's staying in the harness you're gonna put that you're gonna send that signal over to get my iPad going here you're gonna send that over here let's see if I can do it without blinding you guys I think it's pin 59 on the green terminal okay pin 59 it's a purple wire it's crank voltage okay that's on the green connector sorry if I'm blinding you there I got the flash on at the same time I'm making that's where the purple wire is gonna go so when you go to strike the damn it when I go to strike the, the, the starter, the computer is going to receive that signal and say, hey, it's time to start. Okay? So you might ask, well, what about the, what about the black wire? Well, the black wire used to be a ground, right? Well, that's what we want to control. We want to control the ground in this thing. I do apologize about that flash being on. Let's see if I can do this here. Yeah, I believe it's blue 39. Yes, blue 39 is your yellow and black starter enable relay control. So when that computer gets the, the new PCM gets the signal after the neutral safety switch saying hey I have a signal to start if the engines running it will not send the uh, the ground control to this relay however if the engines off if if you're just getting in the truck and you're gonna start it um, it's going to uh, as soon as you strike the key again I'm gonna have pink hot going to that relay and that's gonna energize the coil Okay, then the 12 volt is going to hit the computer. The computer's going to say, All right, I've got a signal to start, and then it's going to put relay control here on the starter. What's going to happen is it's going to start on its own. Whether you just tap it or crank it all the way, it really doesn't matter. At that point, it's going to behave like the donor vehicle that you got your computer and engine and all that from, which is really cool. I haven't done it this way, and this is going to be the first time I do it, but I've Literally on all the conversions that I made I've eliminated that feature, but I'm doing This 97 that has starter relay It, it would be you know, it'd be kind of stupid if I eliminated that 
that functionality because you know essentially you could strike it again I really like it for the fact that it it's going to uh, start the engine on its own and then cut the starter off whenever it decides that it's already running so if you guys have any questions you know shoot me a comment um, sorry about the I got to get this video thing going on so I can get make some better videos but I, I do apologize about how that video turned out there probably the flash in your eyes and all that so anyways hopefully that helps out if you guys have any questions give me a shout later